fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. So let's meet you. The story is all true. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke. Now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Crone's Garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts, scouts I can manage. manage. Point, Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croindene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk, a risk we must, we take. must take. I will I find, find the scouts. scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. <laughs> and more. Can I quickly get that? I accidentally started this quest because I was going for a scroll up top. I was afraid of getting it first. That snake, Fulke, hides behind walls of stone. <laughs> but Eivor will drag her out. Still got a soft spot for him, don't you, bro? Him and Eivor? <laughs> Lower your aim, friend. You'll have better luck. Come on, that's not what I want to do. I know the parkour is broken, but come on. <laughs> Let's take it slow like a little baby. Because apparently that's what Eivor is. Thank you. Hallelujah. That wasn't so hard, was it? Go up this wall, Abel. Not that wall. Check this. By the minute, this game irritates me more and more just because the parkour is so shit. Luthvina, once again we will battle side by side. Greetings from the north, old friend. And how is your? Still griping about the mess we made of Jorvik's council. But grateful for the help. To be honest, I think he's upset he didn't see the problem sooner. His pride is slow to heal. Thank you for heeding my call, friend. Sigurd will be grateful when he hears you have come. For your brother, I would upturn every rock in England. Eivor, you giant steaming bull of Eldpiss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, it's awkward because he's flitting the work. like a heart sick <laughs> kitten. He's been moping since the wedding. <laughs> there will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? 
After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. I love that all the ones on top that we did, even these guys. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. <laughs> He's grown more uh, angry. Okay, let's see. This one's close enough for horseback. It sucks that in town your horse is so much slower. Let's see you, old friend. They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. They said there would be a scout on this hill. Death is close. Did someone find the scout before me? Packs of wolves dead. Slain by wolves. My work has been done for me. That one's closer, so we're gonna go for him first. <laughs> has to be this side of the water, right? Hope so. Looking less and less so, though. Lunin, guide me. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Okay, scout. Okay, I should show this to Basim once I've dealt with the others. Wait, isn't it fast to fast travel to this one? Maybe. Hmm, it could be. I wonder how many other fast travel him. points Die. Die. I haven't unlocked yet. All we have is Full K and uh, the father. The father has to be the king. I think he was just busy cleaning the house. The image matches that of the king, the silhouette. Should be seen here. A hood should work. Yeah. Go, my eyes. Wait, what? There, a 
scout. Isn't that explosive caught? There you go. Move it. Automatically snapped to the wrong person. I wanted to shoot him and then for some reason got stuck on a different guy. When I tried to move it, it made a miss. I have seen the scouts. Bassam and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. Bloody horse, I swear. All I could do there is just give him time to stop spazzing out. Interesting. So stupid, like really. Well, lucky I was muted there because I was just swore. We are so close to completing the game. 85, 86 percent, I believe. Might be a bit more now. Show me. Yeah. Hey. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croydon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast for the fight.
Back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Or mine. Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! To aim badly. No! Oh. Death has found you, Saxon. You'll join your friends soon enough. Is it for that withered bag of skin you fight? You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your god, tell him I sent you. I don't want to send him with the message because otherwise that might have been a bad thing. Uh, he is dead, Davor. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. <laughs> Please drop for aim. That's I'm gonna throw a uh, dead friend. He was always. <laughs> Love him. They start a story and they have to slow you, even with you carrying someone on your back. They get, and they cut themselves off. Now Evil's gonna be blamed for this guy's death by the Jarl. Just a, that's just the writing in this game. This can't be a true RPG because you can't roleplay as Abel. Apparently he's very rash. Reckless stripling. I warned you the risk was too great. Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? It is over. Move on. I bear the blame for that. Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine. Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. I'm too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then, but know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will listen and do not speak to me that way. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I am not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final <laughs> attack. Until then, we have work to do. Look at all these people. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated. But we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, Lufina, right there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. 
It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people. But a debt is a debt. Besides, there are men of Vesex, Alfred's folk. No brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley, food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold, many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Nope. Let's be about it. Apparently not. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Uba Ragnarsson, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Eva Wolf Kiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> Here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. I am hungry. We'll need a short while to work it. Now here is a welcome face. Soma. How fair is Grandebridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you're taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver gilded and iron clad. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. What I would give to be there when he appears in Odin's hall. Old one I will have his hands full tonight. But... I cannot let my brother lie forgotten in unknown soil. I must take him home. Bury him with what finery I can muster. I understand. May Freya watch your way, Broder. Until we meet again. Aye. Until then. Okay, let's see where everything is. There's one. Um, okay, so I'm guessing they're giving me one at a time. I don't know if I should finish Valhalla before the end or... I mean, we are more than powerful enough now. They said we needed to be power level 350 and we're already 414, 420. 416, I believe. I think after we do this one, I, think I just realized I was muted. After I do this one, I'm going to go to the Seer's Hut, get Valhalla started. Well, Valhalla done. We're more than powerful. Oh. And uh, it just sucks that Sigurd won't know that Eivor is uh, Odin's descendant. And he himself just the god of uh, justice. Tyr. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men or not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong.
No sense raising the alarm. I will take care of them quietly. Be ready to come to my aid. We have your back, Eivor. Kill the sex the camp. That means I'm gonna have to kill them all. Unless Come on. No man. Poisonous power trap, that's number four. Poisonous lumber, that's number one. None of them are falling asleep though. Well, now that this is going as a plan. Come on, behind you. Daggers are so short. The camp is ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stop? Even one man's death is too many. Now I must see about destroying full case supplies. I was about to say, hopefully he doesn't get angry with me that we had to attack these people. Everything went pear shaped very quickly. You'd think this fire would ignite the poison, but no either uh, sleeping there is nope. How will we ever share this land if we kill one another so readily? The weak fall beneath the strong. It has always been so. No. There is more to this world than that. It has to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... I'm gonna go do Valhalla and finish it, because... Having that done, just having Ava know who he is... It's a pretty sick one, no. I'm doing it half with the hope- no man. I'm doing it half with the hope that, um... Sigurd will find out. Look, if you do Valhalla first, it gives you extra options, I don't know. I very much doubt that, but it would be awesome.
we've got all the boat schematics and all the tattoo schematics that you can buy from the vendor. So all we need are the floating tattoos and then we're 100% collected there. I literally can't buy any, I ca I can't buy any more Yes, yes, options. one more. And only because you all have such good taste. I did three contracts uh, uh, last night while I was busy running around the map. And it seems you can only do three a day, which sucks, because that means I have to take, take four days to finish it. Because you need to do ten for the settlement quest. Kind of sucks. muting myself and I don't know if it's after or before I said something. Like right now I was talking about uh, Reda's quests where I have to do it in over four days. Yesterday three out of the ten. The last one will be on the fourth day. Which kind of sucks. But I think, I don't know if I did say that on or off uh, recording. Power level 416. Let's do this. Hopefully it's not a whole new map to explore, that's, that'll be a bit uh, excessive. We've already explored most of Asgard, so hopefully he just goes in and does story quests to fight Fenrir and that's it. I'm hoping. Looks a bit weird, but dark. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt, till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I hear uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svatalpheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. No fast travel? Yes, no, maybe. No, but I can jump here. <laughs> Hopefully there's a way to go that like that all the way to the bottom because I don't wanna <laughs> get unnecessary damage before we get to the island. It's a bit of... It's not much, but it is some damage. <laughs> At least we have the ability to roll on landing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah. what is a stag? I wonder if it now, now I wonder if it would have been faster from that side. <laughs> I really wonder if I should do Red Dead next or go back <laughs> to Odyssey. Because Red Dead is completely a different genre. As in uh, Wild West instead of mythic uh, and myth and history. Well, it's tough. <laughs> After I got so used to Valhalla, starting something new feels weird. Tyr! Are you near? <laughs> Wonder if Tyr got hurt. Well, I see a quest icon just next to that pillar on the right, so that might be him. 104 hours. Almost 105. And I'm not even done exploring the map. Like, 100% completionist. <laughs> Harvey, you're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company. But he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? This is Loki. He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Wonder if this doesn't feel like Tyr. And by the way, flighting goes Fenrir! to level 6, not 5. If only a good you. word has come! <laughs> I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings. A collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. I smell something sour. Wear the collar, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Oh, shit. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. Oh, shit. It burns! 
Harvey. Nice. On fighting! Harvey! Here you stay, Fendweller! Lost his head. Lost his arm, not just his head. Shit. Here you die. Deceiver. Brothers will fight one another. Kill one another. You speak in riddles. The home of the gods is not red. Oh, wait, I know it's wrong. I'm wasting... Damn it. I want to slow him down so he can hit his uh, weak spots, man. Come on. The hell? Broken sound. Bloody hell. That's not working. I don't know what's wrong. You know what? Doesn't seem like it has any uh, weak spots. Oh, those are his weak spots. What? That must. <clears throat> At least I'm overpowered, so you can't really do damage to us. This thing's huge. <laughs> Apparently I'm in his mouth, yeah. I need to get out of there.
This is the tale I tell myself each night in the cold and dark before I sleep in the dream of tasting your flesh. Look at that damage, it's insane. Them, but it won't allow me to do anything. <sighs> it takes a little damage, it's insane. Finding fate. Now Tia's gonna be unhappy with us because uh, he lost his arm because of us. Rightfully so. That was a douchebag thing to do. Uh, thing to do. I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. <laughs> it was there was no stupidity. other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate or no, you made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. One ugly ass wolf. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. <laughs> It is done. 
Time to face our end. Oh, shivers. Bloody hell. That gave me goosebumps. This was not my day to die. I'm guessing we are done, done now. Nowhere else to go. So we can wake up then. I just jump down for lo uh, all time's sake to see, let's see if there's something at the bottom. But I doubt, I really doubt it. Yep, nothing. We would have had a quest by now. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's so loud. Let's quickly get some hair and tattoo done before we uh, go back to the wall. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... A betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed the final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nortnir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. Did we get our hair done? You want to see? Yeah, we need ten more to upgrade our last building, but I don't know where we're gonna, where we're gonna get it. Are we gonna get it? Probably only when we rescue. Um, uh, I almost said Tia. Sigurd. Two, three. 
12 more to go. Survey the, the area. Two Susan. shop again. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Right in front of us. There's some new things for you to look at. I would like to see what you have in stock. Also like to because we got <laughs> we got a crap load. Fierce, Mimir, Medgard, Holder's Mark. Go for something easy, something not too heavy. Druid, Artie's Blessing. Midgard, Earth. Where's this one's Midgard? Doesn't look like I have it yet. So for now, go with Valhalla. Like uh, symmetry, and I'm gonna do be too different. Hair. Savage hair, dark brown. This doesn't look too bad. But now that that two on that side. Okay, this side's still visible. That's fine. Unless I do it that way. This was fancy hair, light brown. Don't have fancy dark. Fancy hair red. Oh, we do. Okay. So we changed our tattoos and we changed our hairs. So that looks a bit different now. Anything, Anything else, else I can do for you? For you? Looking fresh. I'm off. Be well, friend. Until I see you next. Hey guys, I think now I'm gonna head to our next location, which is over there. And then I'll see you guys in the next. Until then, cheers.